This is Annie from the QuickBooks team. You can easily request time off in QuickBooks Time using the web dashboard or mobile app. Let's go over how to enter time off requests. Check if the request was approved and see your time off balances. We'll start with the web dashboard. First, go to time off. Select add time off and choose a code. You can see the available balance beside each code in the dropdown. Then choose a date you'd like to request off and the number of hours. The available balance shows a prediction of what your time off balance will be on that day. You can request multiple days off at once by selecting add day. Then add notes that your manager will see when they approve or deny the request. These notes will show up on your timesheet if the request is approved. Depending on your permissions, you can select either Send Request or Save. You'll see the option to save if you have permission to add time off directly. Otherwise, select Send Request, and QuickBooks Time will notify your manager that you requested time off. The time off request will show as pending until a manager approves or denies it. Make sure to set up your time off notifications so you'll know when your manager approved or denied your request. You can check your time off balance and accrual history by going to accruals and balances. Select a time off code to see your current balance. You can also see a breakdown showing when you accrued more hours and when you used them. Select a future date to predict what your balance will be based on your company's time off settings. Now let's go over how to request time off in the mobile app. First, select time off in the taskbar. If you don't see it in the taskbar, go to more and select time off. Tap the plus icon to add a new request. Then choose a time off code. Tap add day. Then tap and scroll on the date or hours to change them. The available balance shows a prediction of what your time off balance will be. You can request multiple days off at once by tapping add day again. Add a note if needed. Once again, you'll see the option to save if you have permission to add time off directly. Otherwise, select Send Request. You can check whether the request was approved or denied in the Requests tab, or select Balances to see your current balance for each time off code. That's it! Now you're ready to request time off in QuickBooks Time.